the Church of San Vitale in Ravenna, Italy, also built during Justinian's reign nearly 1,500 years ago. Byzantine visitors would be transported into an entirely different world. And it was through the mosaics that this happened. They were a vehicle to bring the visitor into contact with the divine. That divine glow of Byzantine mosaics is what makes them so awe-inspiring. And the mystery material that gives them that glow is what will help in the search for Hagia Sophia's hidden mosaics. Luciana Noturni and Gabrielle War are using the same materials to make mosaics today. They begin with glass discs, carefully breaking them into smaller pieces until they become tiny cubes called tesserae. Noturni places each tessera piece by piece into a design she's drawn on the mortar and carefully angles them to reflect the light. It is believed that, especially in the Byzantine mosaics, the positioning of the tesserae was directly connected to where the light was coming from. So where the windows were, where the main light sources were. And to make that light shimmer, they add something else to the mix. It has a thin layer of gold leaf. And the fact that it does have gold in it makes it very reflective and very luminescent. The gold tesserae give the Byzantine mosaics a heavenly glow. 